Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. Uh, I'm sure you guys are just like me. You've got two or three gas cans laying around your property and, and um, you know, there's something the matter it seems like with every dang one of them. And uh, whether it's uh, the caps are missing or the new uh, stupid nozzles that they're putting on these things now. And uh, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I bought this gas can just a couple months ago from Walmart. I think it was like 20, 25 bucks or so. And it's uh, one of these uh, Briggs and Stratton uh, five gallon gas cans. And I brought it home and I knew the nozzle wasn't gonna be any good on it when I, when I got it, but I thought I'd give it a benefit of a doubt since I needed a, one, since uh, all the ones that I had, uh, the nozzles were messed up on them. So it's almost just as cheap to buy a new gas can as it is to replace the nozzle. So uh, I brought it home and uh, I thought uh, it might be okay. And the first thing that I noticed was uh, when you go to use this thing, you have to twist this and push this down in order for the gas to be able to flow out of it. Well, after a few uses, the stupid thing broke and uh, the, uh, the uh, piece is uh, broke off in there and I've just got to dump it out. And so this can, uh, or the nozzle is no good so that sucks so that's total garbage and so i had one of these uh, a year or two ago and uh you know this thing seemed to work all right in the beginning and it just doesn't work no more and the way that this one worked is you pull the little knob or the little lever back and mash down on the handle and it's supposed to uh flow out and it worked for a while and then it just got to where it didn't work anymore so uh, you know, there's two gas cans that uh, the nozzles messed up on and then this one here the gas can is uh, You know, it's been messed up and it's split down the middle and You know that there's no cap for it So, you know, I put some electrical tape on there just to hold it for I could use it for a, a, a Month or two longer and and it just you know, it, there's no using it plus you had to put some tin foil over the end of it to keep bugs and trash and from getting down in your gasoline and so it was you know a bust on that one as well so that's another uh, gas can that I can't really use and uh, so you know I'm pretty disappointed with the gas cans uh, now and uh, you know I wanted to show you uh, an option here in just a second uh, that'll help replace these uh, these gas cans uh, nozzles and put a, a new nozzle on there and uh, they've got different types so if you want one that that uh you can use to flow out real uh at a low pace then um to fill up like a weed eater or a chainsaw they've got those if you want one that's high flow uh that that flows an extreme amount of gasoline uh, then they've got those as well and i'm gonna show those to you all right i've got two these two gas spouts laying right here and as you can see i've got one that's a flexible spout and uh, then I have one that is a rigid spout and the flexible wind means that it, it bends and it's got a, a cap here on the end of it and uh, it comes with uh, two different uh, threaded uh, nuts to tighten it down and uh, you know a half inch vent and then a little uh, keeper for the uh, to hold on to the vent so you don't lose it and, or the I'm sorry not the vent but the cap and so uh, then on this uh, rigid one here um, you've got just a, a hard plastic uh, that's that's a lot, lot easier that I, I per personally prefer the, the 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 rigid ones because they seem like they're they're easier to use to fill things up and uh, it's got a cap that comes with it it's got the two uh, threaded nuts one's a coarse and one's a fine thread and then it also has the uh, half inch uh, vent if you need it and so I'm going to show you uh, the different options uh, that you can, uh, different ca cans that you can put these on. And uh, it fits cans from 2009 and earlier. And it fits most gas cans. So, you know, you're, there's only a few that it, it doesn't fit. And you can contact them or look on their website and they'll be able to tell you which ones uh, that it fits. So, anyways, I'm going to go over here to the ones uh, that's missing and try to uh, uh, replace it. All right, as you guys can see, I went ahead and replaced that old green garbage nozzle there uh, with this uh, uh, Easy Flow rigid nozzle. And as you can see that uh, it fit on there with the yellow 
or yellow if you're from up north i guess down here in the south we call it yellow uh coupling and uh it uh it fits on there nice and tight the black one uh is not the the right one for this one so you don't need it and uh as you can see um you're gonna need a vent for this particular gas can so you know if it was me i would put the vent uh, right in here uh, i wouldn't drill right there on the the mold uh, for the gas can because you're just asking for a leak so i would move over to the side right here in this little flat area and i'd make my my half inch uh, or my hole right in here for the half inch vent that they supply with you and once you you drill the appropriate size hole you just push that in there and now you've got a, a vent with a a cap right here so it's that simple now uh, there's plenty of videos online that shows you how to put the vents in and uh, you can check those those out or you can go to their website and it, i'm sure it'll, it'll tell you how to do it all right and i just got through showing you this uh rigid uh gas can spout on on the briggs and stratton can and then right here we have a gas can i know it looks more like a diesel can because it's so old and faded but this is an old blitz can and as you can see i've went ahead and installed the flexible spout and you can see uh, it's flexible where it bends and uh, this one has the uh, twist on uh, cap and it also comes with this little zip tie type lanyard that uh, fixes the uh, the cap to the nozzle there so you don't lose it and then they also provide you again with uh, one of these uh, uh, vents well this can uh, has it already uh, so you don't need one so anyways that's uh that's how that it installs and you know as as with the rigid uh, can uh, it comes with uh with two ad adapter nuts where you can uh tighten it down uh this one here i believe was the fine threaded is the black and then the coarse threaded i believe is the yellow one and so you can see that the briggs took the the uh, yellow one and the 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 blitz can uh, took the black one and the way that you can tell is you just screw it on there and and see which one threads on the best and seats properly and that lets you know uh if if you uh if it fits your can all right guys uh, as you can see i've went ahead and replaced the nozzle on this gas can as well and right off the bat you can clearly see uh, the nozzle is a lot bigger in diameter and it's a uh, seven eighths of an inch opening so uh this uh nozzle here is is definitely for someone who wants to get a lot of gas out that nozzle and let's say you're you're filling up a uh a lawnmower with a big filler spout uh, this is a good nozzle for that because it gets that gas out there real quick and let's say uh let's say you got a kubota tractor or something i know the filler uh on the on the uh, kubota tractors is up here on top of the hood and so it's it's a pain in the butt to sit there and and try to hold that gas can up in the air and fill that uh that tractor up and uh these old nozzles took a, a long time to to get all the gas out of them where this one here is the uh high flow model so it also comes with uh an extension uh to make it even longer if you need that and uh like I, with the other nozzles it comes with the two different nuts for the two different threads and it also comes with the the vent and then a lanyard for the cap now the cap on this one uh just screws off and then you can see it's threaded right there and you can also take their attachment that comes with the high flow model and uh, it fits right over top of the uh, the filler and it just tightens up like the cap does and then once you get it tight now you've got a long extension uh, so you can uh, get to some of those tighter spots and then the cap just fits over on the top right here and just screws on so there's uh three different types of nozzles uh, that i've showed you for uh these different gas cans and it's just whichever kind uh gas can and what type of nozzle you want to use uh determines uh which one you want to get now i know what you're thinking yeah you've seen that racing uh can right here well, if you got one of these racing cans, they got you covered as well.
All right, guys. Well, uh, this is uh, the adapter. It's for uh, a racing jug adapter, and it's from Easy Pour. I've got one already unwrapped here, and uh, you can see uh, it's pretty much just uh, the same adapter that comes on these, except it's made to where uh, you can screw on one of the Easy Pour nozzles. So you just tighten this down. And let's say you want to use uh, one of these other other nozzles. You can take your pick because they all fit it. Let's just grab this one off off of here. And now you've got a uh, a nozzle for it. That's uh, you know they give you the. You can buy that adapter like I showed you, and then any of those uh, uh, screw-on uh, adapters will fit it. Uh, you can choose the, the black, uh, which I believe is the correct one for the threads on that on that racing jug. But if not, you can switch it out to the to the yellow one. Uh, it's just whichever one fits on there tighter and, and feels more secure is the one that I use. And so uh, seems to work good. Well, uh, as you can see, I went ahead and uh, put the uh, rigid uh, spout on there. And actually, I was wrong. The, uh, the yellow nut fits this uh, racing jug uh, better. It, got, it fit on there a lot tighter and felt more secure. So uh, if you've got a, using that adapter, then that is, that is the, uh, the, the yellow nut is the, definitely the one you want to use. So anyways, I've showed you four different gas cans and the, the uh, different adapters that you can put on all these different cans and different nozzles and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh... Oh, and before I forget, uh, one last thing. Uh, on the end of each one of uh, the inside of these uh, nozzles here, you can see that there is like a a metal mesh down in there and what that is is a flame arrester and if i didn't know what it was really for i had to google it myself but uh let's say um you know um there was fire over here let's say you've got a bonfire and it picks up some of the the uh the the gas uh fumes or whatever and uh it jumps back to the gas can and tries to blow that gas can up this mesh screen right in here uh stops that from happening it stops the uh the uh the flame from getting down into the the gas can and cause a is an explosion so you know or if you're filling up let's say uh your lawnmower and sometimes uh the uh the uh gas tank is up here near the engine and it's hot they tell you to wait till it cools down um, that could be uh, a handy uh, feature to have because you definitely don't want that gas can to explode uh, in your hand and blow you up end up causing your life or whatever but uh end up in the hospital but anyways i uh, think i'm gonna wrap this video up appreciate you guys uh watching and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and i'll try to bring you uh, another uh, different uh, gas cans and outdoor products and things like that to, to show you all the different uh, types available and uh, thanks for watching